Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Dark Souls 2. We are back in the forest. Uh, let me just grab my souls right here next to the bonfire after that travesty that happened in the last video. Uh, so last time, let's see, we're exploring this foresty area. Oh, and I gotta start all over and kill these fat guys. Oh, this is gonna be brutal. Um, we're checking out this forest area here. This is our new place to explore. I don't really know of too many other places for us to check out at the moment, so... This is where we're at. Um, last time the video ended with me getting invaded and then just completely dominated by the, uh, the invader. It kind of wrecked me. That's cool. I like their little spinny move that those bandits do. Yeah, so we explored this area. We explored most of the forest. Um, I'm satisfied with our exploration of the bulk of the area. There's a big old drawbridge thing that we lowered up there last time. We have not explored what's on the other side of it. Oh, please don't murder me. Oh, man. Yeah, those big old, like, torture guys. Those things are just horrifying. So we lost like the, what, like 5,000 souls or something that we had uh, from when we had died in the forest previously. Um, there are these moths. I know that there are two of them out here in the forest. Um, things can poison me, presumably. So I do have poison moth, poison moss uh, with an S. Those are poison moths with THs that we just bought. Um, I have poison moss here to cure poison. Should it become inflicted on us? Um, like the bandits have, uh, poison arrows and things like that. And these guys with their big old hooky sword things, those just tear through my shield. Like, oh boy. Lucky for me, that guy is horrible at using them. Holy cow. I don't know. I should not still be alive. I should have died right there. Um, yeah, man, those things are nasty. They, the big old hooks just, like, curve around my shields, so my shield doesn't really block their attacks at all. Oh, you know what? I think we were exploring over here on this side. Somewhere along here, there's a pathway for us to take. And there are these... You'll see, there's a big old dark hammer thing. Yeah, you can see him kind of above... Is he the one who's pacing? He's the one who's pacing up there. Oh, whoops. That was a waste of a spell. Oh, well. Um, behind this hollow that's coming towards us. These, these knights, they have, like, dark weapons. Whatever those big old catch poles are. I don't know. Those things are nasty. Those guys hit really, really hard. Um, that's what killed us last time, I'm remembering now. I remember... There's like a little... Yeah, there's a little canyon here, and as we go through it, a whole bunch of those guys start popping out. And they just wreck us. Prudence required ahead. Good luck. Yes, thank you, game. Um, they're up on those... Those posts, you can see there's one. He's going to hop down here. I do not like them. They are my green eggs and ham. And they're super fast. There we go. Ooh, I want them to, like, drop that weapon. I want that want something... I don't... We don't have anything that does dark elements, and I, that's like a new thing in this game. Um, unless it's just a repurposing of a cult, which I don't know. A cult was a type of damage in the first game. Um, but yeah, these guys... These guys are super dangerous. Oh, what? He has a whip! What? You can't do that. You can't change your weapon. Oh... 
and I just could not block that thing at all. Okay, good to know. They have different weapons. Oh, this is ridiculous. All right, we're going to we will get through there. I do want to know what's on the other side of that. What these guys are protecting. Oh, and then there's yeah, there's red summoning signs being placed all over the place here. Or all around here. <clears throat> Oh man, we have to keep fighting through all this stuff. This is horrible. I need to not die anymore. Um, also... Hey, let's deal with this hollow first. Um, I'm gonna adjust my inventory real quick. I would like to have... I want to keep the stone ring. I'm probably gonna swap out my ring of prayer. Or... Ring of Binding. That should help to... Again, I say this every time. It's going to help to mitigate our HP loss as we uh, as we die repeatedly in this area. Because I feel like we are going to be dying repeatedly in this area. I already have been. I feel like that trend is going to continue. Come at me, bro. Nice. Okay. Killed that thing. Um, let's take out the moth here real quick. I know it's using one of my valuable lightning spells, but it seems like every time we kill a moth, they drop poison moss. So we're building up a decent supply of poison moss in the event that something goes horribly wrong and I end up getting poisoned. I know there's three enemies here. There are these two hollows. Please don't kill me, please don't kill me, please don't kill me. Oh, I do not like these guys. They are crazy aggressive, and they're very quick. Whoops. <clears throat> yeah, so, um, that I know of, we have two pathways available to us to get through this forest. There's one, this one down here that I'm kind of running my face into over and over again. And then there's a path up above, uh, that drawbridge I was talking about. Um, barring this area of the game... The only other place I know of for that is like available for us to explore would be um, falling down the pit in the middle of Majula. There's a big old like bottomless pit. There we go. I hit him. You know we're just gonna do two on him. Double up. Take him out. I have enough to deal with two more of these guys in that similar fashion. Let's kill. Oh, I missed the whip man. Please kill him. Okay, phew. And I only have one more lightning spear. This is gonna get ugly. We got our souls back. It was not a ton of souls. It's not super critical. So there's like skeletons chained up to this thing. These guys are creepy. They've got some issues. And they inflict bleed damage with those catch pulls of theirs. No, no, no. No, no, no. Ooh. Alright, gotta be very mindful of my stamina. Whoops, I meant to follow that up with the, uh... Follow-up attack. You know, the one where I poke my sword forward. That. I had meant to do that. Weakness sniper spot. Yeah, I guess this would be a lot easier with, like, a sniper. Um, somebody really good with a bow and arrow. Something like that. I can see that making this area not as bad. Oh no, there's more of you. All 
Alright, well that's my last lightning spear, so hopefully we don't run across anything else that needs ranged attacks to be defeated. I don't know the whip's pattern at all. There we go. Yeah, <laughs> look at that. Backstab. Okay. Whew. The question is, how many more of these guys will there be? Another question might be, what are they? Other than jerks. Be wary of dashing through. So what, are some of these going to break on me? How did you die? Yes. Well, no. He just walked across a, a gap. Be wary of hole. Um, also, I believe this is where we could... Like, the bonfire that we were just at is down below us. Yeah, and there's a bandit right below us as well. I believe somewhere around here we could probably drop off and uh, grab the item that's been taunting us out. Just, yeah, that item right there. We could do that, however, I'm more curious to know what's on the other side. I don't want to have to fight my way through all those enemies again. Like a dream. Okay, so he backed right off the edge, so there's going to be an enemy here. I don't like that. And he just walked off the edge going back the other way. Hollow ahead. Try tongue in short hole. That doesn't seem very appropriate. Undead purgatory. I don't like the name of this area. There's a red hollow there. I really don't like this. I feel like I'm going to get wrecked by that guy. Sublime Bone Dust. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. That'll upgrade our Estus Flasks again. We just turned one of those in, too. And then we got a, what was that, like a red seed? Orange Boo, temporary boost to... Orange Burr, temporary boost to uh, fire defense. Magic defense, lightning defense. Sublime Bone Dust. Uh, we've already read that before. So what was that red seed thing that we picked up? We have a notched whip. Strengthens your pyromancy flame. A tiny waning flame used to strengthen a pyromancy flame. A pyromancy flame serves as the catalyst for pyromancies and scales the strength of each spell according to its level. Fire is a common object of worship. It can never be grasped and it is or and its mystery stokes the human imagination. Okay, that's interesting. Good to know that we need to use a special item to upgrade our pyromancy flame. If that is a thing I ever decide to try to use. Oh, ha, ha, ha. oh I thought I'd saved it for a second there. <sighs> Son of a gun. Alright. I'm going to try to save some of my lightning spells for when we get there to whatever that big red enemy was that was there. Because that thing looked terrifying. <laughs> Also, we can go ahead and, uh, I think, hop down and grab that item there. Oi. Yeah, it's gonna be one of these videos, everybody. I hope you're ready for a lot of repetition. hit that enemy from here? Would I want to hit it from here? I can. Is that going to cause everybody else to come running after me? Mm. Oh 
was hoping I could backstab him. Oh no. Oh, he did a double attack. I was not really expecting that. At that time, I was expecting it. Cool, so we took that guy down without using any um, lightning. So that's good. I'm going to just completely ignore that butterfly up there, that moth. Oh, this guy. Alright. This is working out okay. Alright, I'm, I'm kind of getting used to these guys and their attack patterns. They're still very intimidating. They're very aggressive. Like, there's not much room for screwing around with these enemies. Oh no, did two of them drop? Are they all coming after me? Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is very bad. I got too close, didn't I? Yep. Well... Oh, and I can hear them! Oh, please don't kill me! Huh, I killed one of them. He dropped something, but I, unfortunately I don't think I'll be able to get that drop. That's a shame. I want to see what these guys drop. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Note to self, be a lot more cautious when we go through that. All right. It's this hollow here. It's a solo here. Yeah, whatever he dropped is gone. That's unfortunate. Alright, these guys do have pretty simple attack patterns, it looks like. Uh, and as soon as I say that, he kind of mixes it up by only doing one attack, so two. There we go. Alright. We're gonna ignore the moth again. I mean, I needed to use I need to use something ranged here to, to deal with those hollows, those little ones. Maybe. Yeah. See now, and now I get all three of them coming after me here. Oh. Swing and a miss. I tried to do the jump attack. The jump attack is always a bit fussy in this game. Uh, it was in the first Dark Souls as well. So it looks like these guys have absolutely no poise at all because I'm staggering them with like every hit that I do. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. I don't, don't want to fall off the edge there. Oh, I got. There is some geometry there that had me caught up. That's unfortunate. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Let's try it yet again. I'm, I feel like I'm losing my composure here a little bit. Huh. 
<sighs> All right. Take number 50. I feel like I'm back in the Tomb of Giants or something. Like, that's kind of how much trouble I'm having here. Jeez, that was a stupid hit that I shouldn't have taken. All right, I'm not going to two-hand it. We're just going to be cautious. Good. I really want to see if these guys can be backstabbed, these big guys here. Big old, like, creepy patchwork torturers. Oh, that almost filled up my whole poison bar. Oh, that would have been very bad. <laughs> I forgot about that moth. Ooh, okay. Torturer down. So, um, that was a good experiment last time. Yeah, see, right there, there, I... That's the geometry that has me caught up. It's like the rock extends a little bit further than you can see. See, it won't let me go forward here. Huh. That's odd, because that's not usually a thing that happens in this game. There's only... The only other spot I know of where there's bad geometry issues like that, uh, in the first Dark Souls, at least, was down in Blight Town. There was a tree route that you had to walk across to get some items, and it uh, it had some wonky geometry and could punt you off to your death just for no reason at all. All right, use use that combo, that opening there, to just recover my stamina. Oh, cool, you can do, like, a ninja kick. Oh, huh, that was new. I hadn't seen that move before. Okay. Got past the first one this time. Now, very, very super slow up here. Let's see if we can just get the attention of the first enemy. And then back up here and use my sword to fight him. Swing and a miss. I had a message rated somewhere. That's cool. I don't know what that did. Oh, no. Oh, man. If I had the stamina for that, that would be an easy way to deal with these guys. Just keep attacking them over and over again, because I just... They're very easily staggered. Okay. That was not terribly graceful, but we survived. We fell back right down here. I know we're... this is, uh... Where the other guy jumped off and chased me when I'm on the... when I'm over on the bridge. So, alright. You guys have any hints? Nope, good luck. Prudence required ahead. And that other player would look like they were just running running straight through. Alright, so this is going to be one of the whip guys. Yeah, one of the whip users. Which, I mean, the whip ones are easy to, relatively easy to get behind and backstab like that. Like, that worked quite well. Red Eye Orb. Okay. So these are probably, like, this game's equivalent of Dark Wraiths. Uh, Dark Wraiths being the covenant dedicated to invading other players and killing them. Oh, I forgot. Uh, I forgot there's more of these. Okay, phew, I only pulled one more. Thank goodness. If I had gotten both of them to come after me, that would have been really bad. What you doing, buddy? No, no, no. 
Okay. Ooh. That was close. And there should be one more whip user, I believe. Yeah, there you are. Yeah, these guys strike me as being kind of dark wraithish. Um, and if that's true, if these guys are a covenant and they can be joined, that might explain why this is the first area where I'm seeing uh, red soapstone and invaders and things like that actually, you know, happen in any sort of noticeable quantities. Okay, so I made it through all that and I only used one lightning spear, so I got ten full lightning spears that we can use against whatever sort of monsters up here in the undead purgatory. That thing. Can I hit him with a lightning spear from here? Oh yes, but he can also wreck me. Holy cow. No, 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 don't die. Please, don't fall off. Okay, that's okay. Traded hits, but we killed him. Whew. Alright, not terribly graceful. I'm not necessarily proud of the things that I've done. But we made it. I don't know if I want to go in there. I feel like it's going to be a boss fight, and I feel like I'm going to get wrecked. <laughs> and it's a boss fight. What? That guy had a scythe? I don't like this. What on earth? The Executioner's Chariot. What was that circle thing for? Huh. I have no idea what to do for this fight here. Okay. I kind of saw that happening. I have no idea what to do in that fight. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> uh, I don't like this forest. Can we go do something else? Can we stop playing Dark Souls now? Alright, after all that. Um, we did pick up an item. So, you know, not a total loss. Although it's probably not useful in any way. Fading Soul. Fading soul of a lost undead who has gone hollow and still, used to acquire souls, blah blah blah. Uh, it probably gives us, like, a soul or something, like, just something pathetic. That seems like what this game would do. I'm gonna get that item that's right there. Um, the 10,000 souls that I just had, we're gonna write those off as a lost cause. I don't know what to do in that boss fight. Oh, see, I'm getting sloppy again. Um, heal. All right, so we're gonna. I'm gonna loop through all that again. Yes, I know it's terribly repetitive. I apologize. Um, but we're gonna get that item. 
And then we're gonna go up and we're gonna check out the drawbridge up above. And we're gonna just ignore the undead purgatory for now. Come on. Aw. Oh. Alright, let's finish that guy. I really need to up my stamina. That needs to become more of a priority. Oh, that's the sound of those moths. That sound always freaks me out a little bit when I hear it. Are you kidding me? Oh, that's embarrassing. I'm really losing it. No, no, no. <laughs> oh! I underestimated the little guy. I was trying to ignore him. Oh, this is bad. I need to stop recording so late at night. I feel really bad about this. Alright, you know what? We're gonna ignore all of that. We'll go get that item at some other point. Um, for now, we're just gonna work our way through and, uh... I do have a sublime bone dust that we can go turn in as well. Um, we're gonna head it back up to that drawbridge. We're gonna just go see what's up there. All right, I gotta just realize that I can't go blow for blow with these guys. Like I'm not faster than them. Was the wrong attack. Ooh, okay. At least I'm getting used to fighting those, uh, I don't know, those torturer enemies? I don't really know what else to call them. Oop, that is not the right way. Wait, was that the right way? I think I just got a little bit turned around here. This is where we want to go. Uh, there's two poison arrow archers in here, at least. So I gotta be careful about them. Oh, these bandit guys are tough to see. These rogues, I guess. They drop rogues armor. There you are. Uh, we will heal. Here's the big old mechanical drawbridge that I pulled down earlier. Bonfire head. I mean that? Like a literal bonfire? Or do you mean one that we can use? Area of poison. Hmm. Look carefully, be wary of trap. This? Okay, so that person was fighting something in here. Oh, and of course it's locked. Why wouldn't it be locked? Hmm. 
Try dashing through and then be wary of caster. I think I'm going to not dash through. Oh, what did you do? You were going backwards. That doesn't help me. Oh, a skeleton. Oh, and it didn't die. What on earth? And we're being cursed by whatever that jar thing was. Hmm. I don't know if we have any way to actually, like, permanently kill these skeletons. Unless it is permanently dead now? I am perplexed. I don't want you to come back to life now that I've passed you. We broke the jar. Does that stop the thing from casting? Is that the caster that we needed to be aware of? I hear very faint laughter ahead. Mm, I don't like this. I really don't like this. We're gonna come back when we have, like, a, a holy weapon or something that will hopefully be of a bit more use against these skeletons. Because this is not fun. <laughs> uh, also, I guess we can switch back to our fire weapon for a little bit. the edge there. Oh. Archer, that sucks. Of course there's more of you. Why wouldn't there be? Ambush ahead. You where you have left. Okay. We killed it, so I think we're good. Hurrah for item. That's heartening, I guess. Well, this place is so spooky. Oh, and there was a Titanite lizard I just saw it. Oh! <laughs> oh, I should have known better. Ah, oh, foolish me. Oh, don't die. Oh, did I not get to use my Estus Flask? What on earth just happened there? Okay, we're still alive. Uh, there was an archer up there. I saw him. Or I saw him shooting at me. Or her. I saw her shooting at me. I don't know. Oh, there was an archer up here, though. Bug ahead, beware of ambush. Ambush ahead. Yes, yeah, so the Titanite lizard we missed out on. That's unfortunate. Um, I imagine when we find whatever key is needed to unlock... The bonfire below, though, that'll help us get to this Titanite Lizard a lot faster. 
Uh, or it'll help us get to the Titanite Lizard repeatedly until we actually kill the dumb thing. So those things are surprisingly tricky to kill in this game. There we go. Oh, those guys are nimble. Poisonous throwing knife. Praise the sun. Yeah, that's cool. Way down, there's an item down there. Yeah. We're just supposed to drop down there? So this... This feels very much like the forest in the first game. The Dark Root Basin, Valley of Drakes... All of that sort of connected area. That's what this is very much reminding me of right now. I don't think we can actually make a jump all the way across there. Merciless Rowena. So we got invaded by an NPC, it looks like. Ah, there you are. This seems like a really crappy place to fight. What is that on your head? Man, they, that, that weapon has just taken off huge chunks of my health each time I get hit. Nope. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Crap. <laughs> uh... Oh, this game. game is brutal. It's so hard not to fall off on those narrow walkways, at, like when you're fighting something, because your attacks make you walk forward, like you take a step forward when you attack. Oops. Like that. That makes it so much more difficult. Alright, um, let's go get all our stuff back if we can. I would imagine that an invading NPC would give us a pretty significant chunk of souls. I thought I had my shield up for that guy's attack, but apparently not. Hmm. Alright, you know what? We're just gonna use lightning against this guy. Oh, and then get wrecked by his hook! Oh boy. Kind of surprising, my lightning doesn't seem to take off that much of his health. Which is kind of unfortunate. We will ignore the moth. Again. As a sir, probably sick of hearing me say that. Not entirely sure where this club guy came from. One of the archers down, the other one's over here somewhere. There you are. Yeah, I really wish that we had whatever key would let us get at this bonfire here. I feel like that would be very, very useful. <laughs> would save us a fair bit of hassle. I'm not gonna go in there and deal with Skeleton Town again. That place was bad. That means I gotta go through this ambush area up ahead again. Oh, not a fan of that. At least I'm not the only person who's walking off the edge a lot. That's some small comfort, I guess. Retrospect, I probably should have just stun stuck with that, the, uh, the pokey attack.
Um, did we need to go up there? Can we go down here? There's a rickety wooden bridge. I kind of want to go check out that bridge to the right, but we'll come back for that. Oh boy. Marsar souls, though, they're just up ahead. Can I turn the camera so we can see them? Yeah, up there. So that's not too far away. There we go. Undead lockaway key. So I wonder if this will let us get to that bonfire. Opens the stone lockaway in the huntsman's coat. The undead hunts during the reign of the old Iron King took place in this forest, and the cells in which the undead were held still stand to this day. However, the march of time has eroded away any difference between the captors and the captives. Key, comma, front. Dark spirit. Uh, that's right, you fell down, didn't you? Rogue armor. Uh, let's go ahead and heal real quick before we proceed. Do you want to go check back and check out that little bridge area? Okay, so there's something to the right and there's something to the left here. Um, there's something to the right only, the left is a dead end. Hmm. Is that a fog wall? That's a fog wall, so that might very well be a boss or something right there. Hmm. I don't think we want to be in Skeleton Town. Let me rephrase that. I absolutely do not want to go into Skeleton Town again. I don't like that place. Alright, Fog Wall. So let's go back here. I very strongly suspect... Don't give up. Um, I very strongly suspect that the rickety wooden bridge that we passed over here will be taking us... Uh, just right to the, um, back into the skeleton cave area over there. The catacombs. Because that's what they are. This is Dark Souls. Um, yeah, I suspect this is just going to take us into the catacombs and there's going to be, like, skeletons and stuff in here that we can't kill. Yep. No, 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 no! Ah... Yeah, okay. So that's exactly what's going on right there. Um, let's see. Well, there's the ambush area, and there was above, and then we fell down. I don't know. I feel like there are a couple items that we should be able to get, but I don't think we actually will be able to get them. Kind of want to go back and unlock that bonfire, but I'm sure that after we die, because it's inevitable that I'm going to die again as soon as we go to the other side of this fog wall, um, on our way back here again, we can unlock the fog or er, unlock the bonfire then. You know what I mean. The key that we just got. Help me. Weary of enemy horde. Praise the sun. I don't like the be wary of enemy horde comment. What? That's fire.
Oh no. Okay, good. It didn't kill me. Uh, we got one of the skeletons there. Oh no. How many of these things are there? Oh, that's just like a regular- Oh! Oh man, these things attack so fast! I'm gonna die. Yep. <laughs> Oh, I was not expecting those little guys to show up there. That's alright, I pretty much called that I was gonna die. Hmm. Um, alright, this video is getting quite long. Uh, I'm gonna just run up to that next bonfire and unlock that. And then that's where we'll end the video. I don't think it'll take too long. Oh. Again, I always want to try to get a hit off before he can. Uh, that hollow is the worst. <laughs> you know what? We will go ahead and kill that moth. Stupid moth. Oh. I do like the little flourish they put on their their jump attack there. I think that's really neat. shot in the back by this other jerk. Man, there are a lot of bosses in this game. It seems like we're encountering them all over the place. <laughs> Alright. Look at that. Look at that. We got access to the bonfire. Yay! Cool. So, thanks for joining me, everyone, and uh, hopefully we can figure out how to beat that boss next time.